The dust around Shatawale's unguarded social media rant about the Nigerian music industry and Nigerians generally is still taking a while to settle. While it has caused a few banter here and there, a more serious conversation has festered around the relationship between Nigerian and Ghanaian music industry. Now joining me on the program to further discuss this is Ghanaian filmmaker and video director, George Freeman, who is joining me from the United States of America. Now many thanks, George, for speaking to us today. Thank you. Now, in the wake of some of the comments and accusations made by Shatawale, what is the vibe you're getting from your countrymen about the Nigerian creative industry? I think uh, now the, I would say there is uh, tension, a little bit of tension, but not too much of a tension. Is uh, I would say is directed to one group of people, which is Shatawale's comp and fans, because uh, his uh, opinion entirely do not reflect that of Ghanaians. All right, but what are your thoughts uh, of creatives in Ghana about his comments that the Nigerian music industry doesn't support contents from Ghana? I would say uh, that is not a general perception of every creative because uh, I don't think personally, this is my opinion, and this is the opinion of most of the uh, creatives in our industry. We don't think Nigeria owes us or they are obliged to support us or take us to where we want to, we want to take our music to. We have talents, so I think we have to put in much effort if we want to be where we want to be. There's no point blaming or pointing fingers at somebody if I'm not doing better in the industry. Now, as a content creator yourself, have you tried promoting anything in Nigeria? If yes, what was it like? Uh, well, from what I've heard, uh, I, I cannot really substantiate because they said it's very hard and then there's a mechanism or, there is a policy in Nigeria that don't don't allow them to play much of foreign contents or other contents from other African countries. And they feel like that really bothers them in terms of their promotion. But that differs and I challenge that because good music travels. You cannot uh, whether if a music if music is good, whether you hide it in, in, you keep it somewhere, it will come out from the hole. You know, so I, I think like uh, Jackie, Jackie broke through Nigerian markets. Uh, one corner broke through Nigerian markets. So I think uh, good music travels regardless of where you live or the origin. All right, you are in the United States of America right now. So you must know that some Nigerian arts already have their foot on the door of breaking into that industry with two Grammy Awards to show for it. Now, how do you suppose other African artists can benefit from this? Um, uh, for me, I think uh, we should thank Nigerians. We should, uh, I think all African uh, countries collectively, we should thank Nigerians because it's like they have the key. They've broken through the market. They have, because over here in Dallas, Texas, uh, they have a, we have a radio station called K104. And I'm telling you, they play whiskey music, uh, whiskey sounds. Uh, um, all these letters in uh, Omale, CK, oh, it's being played, and I've never heard of Ghanaian music or any other, any other country song. So you could, you could see, all we have to do is tap in, into Nigerian music. We have to have a, a collaborative uh, meetings with them, and then they can figure, figure so many things out to us that we don't know. You know, if you can't beat them, you join them. You know, so we should be, I think that it's, 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 it's because even in clubs, even in clubs over here, you can hardly hear Ghanaian music being played. It's always Nigerian music, but 10 lists, 40 lists is all Nigerian music. It's not because uh, 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 I feel like their promotion, it's not really going where it's supposed to be. So we should thank God Nigerians have broken through the market. We should tap into their music and follow, and just, just thank God, and follow, follow the trend. That's all, follow, the, they've opened the doors that we could not open for a long time. All right, lastly, before I let you go, what are your thoughts about how Bonoboy responded to Shatawale and how the conversation later became a personal fight between the two of them? Uh, I'm really disappointed in both artists because uh, looking at how big, uh, uh, how giant uh, Bonoboy is now, I don't think you should involve yourself or retweet or reply to certain things. You know, probably, I think they may have their own personal uh, problems, but they shouldn't have brought it into the light like that. We are not interested in whatever they have going on. Now, if you look at the whole thing, if it, it's even shifted from music to something about rip. If you look on their tweets, they are tweeting about rip, rip, rip. So with, I think even the capsule, the police, you look into it 
And Ghana is a country that is governed by laws. So Shatawale knows already. Shatawale is somebody that wants attention. I would say this in every day. We Ghanaians, we know him. You know, he is doing show business. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, sometimes you have to ignore him. But uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, Bernard Bohr, he, he is big. I don't expect him to reply to certain uh, comments from Shatawale. All right, I must let you go now. Many thanks for joining us, George Freeman, all the way from the United States of America.